Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's dinner, we are making a, um, tonight's dinner, we're making a inspired pasta dish. So, here's the ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need one box of pasta. We're going to need a, one can of Rotel, and this can of Rotel is 28 ounces for you guys to remember, okay? You'll need one cup of red bell pepper, two cups of corn, and a little secret ingredient of mine, taco season. So what we're going to do is we're going to start pouring everything into our big pot. Now you want to make sure that you... Bring your mixture to a boil. And I know this looks kind of crazy, but you guys know what? This is going to be pretty interesting the way we're doing it. But now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why are we putting everything into a pot like this without having any, um, let me actually grab a spoon because I wasn't really prepared. Why are we putting everything into a pot without having to boil a pasta dish? Well, and we're going to put the whole thing of taco seasoning in. Now, I'm going to give it a stir. And this dish is really good. Now, we're going to let this come up to a boil. And then once it's at a boil, we'll let it boil for about uh, 9 to 11 minutes until the pasta is cooked through. And then once the pasta is all the way cooked through, then we'll come back and uh, we'll show you what this meal looks like. So I'm going to leave it alone so it can start bubbling a little. Now this video is um, was highly requested. You guys wanted me to show you how to make um, this meal, so we're making this. Now, I will tell you guys this. This week is spring break, so I'm going to try to um, record as many videos as I can because you guys wanted me to kind of um, give you some more videos. Um, but this dinner's easy. Tomorrow we're making chicken tacos. So that, uh, that's going to be pretty interesting, interesting which you guys know, you guys already know my recipe for my chicken tacos, but I'll still give you that recipe anyway. Um, this, we're just going to let it boil, kind of boil. Once this, is, once this comes up to a boil, then we're just going to let the whole thing boil for 9 to 11 minutes. And then once it's done, then I'll show you um, what the next ingredient is going to be. Now, if you guys have any questions about any of my other recipes, um, please leave it in the comments down below in the description box, and I'll be able to answer any questions that you guys have um, about any of my recipes. And this video is pretty simple. It's not hard. Um, these are these are one of the recipes where you can just throw it, where you throw it in one pot and you just kind of just let it be. I kind of like to call it my one-pot wonder because it's just everything in one pot. Oops, everything in one pot. So, um, it's a pretty basic recipe. Now, if you guys want to know how to make this meal, you guys know where to go. You guys know to go to my channel, and I will have this video online on YouTube tonight after I'm done making this video. So, um, and also, you guys remember the video we did... Uh, today, Monday, so it would be three nights ago. You guys remember the, uh, not, not three nights ago. We made it a while, we made it like a while ago. You guys remember my pasta dish that we made with the, um, sausage in it? That video was also another request. I have that video, um, posted. You guys also remember the crock pot meals that we did last week? Those videos are posted, so you guys can check those out too. This video, however, I'm gonna um, upload, and I'm and like I said, I'm gonna have the measurements and how much to use 
I'll put it in the description below so that way you guys know how much to use this recipe. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me if they wanted to. I've had a lot of people ask me for me to show them how to make this recipe. So I'm basically giving you guys the basic version. So. But um, you guys can be able to know how to uh, make this without just me having to uh, from do a few details. So now as this is cooking, we're going to make sure right. that we kind of give it a stir. Now, I didn't, I had one. Okay. Now if you guys want to know... How to make this meal, then you guys will know. Now, um, now you want to make sure that um, you keep your uh, stuff stirred good. The one thing I will say, and I'm pretty sure I've said this in quite a few of my videos, that when you make pasta, you don't want your pasta sticking to the bottom of the pot. Um, it's just what you, you don't want. You don't want your pasta sticking to the bottom of the pot. But we have everything one pot. And it's a little crazy, but it's going to be good. So we're just going to let this keep doing its thing. Now, you guys may not um, <clears throat> know this, but this recipe, now, I will tell you guys, if you guys want to add meat to this, you can. This recipe, however, is, a veg is vegetarian, so with a vegetarian meal, there's no meat. But I know that sounds crazy, and I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, why is it? Why, why aren't we adding meat? And you know, it's a vegetarian meal, so that's why we're not adding meat. Um, so a lot of you guys were asking me if I can make my um, my chicken tacos again. Now I'm gonna let you guys know this. I have made quite a bit of chicken taco recipes. I've made cilantro and lime. I've made salsa verde. You guys remember those chicken taco videos that, we, that I did a while back? I did them like a while ago. Um, so I will be showing you guys another um, version of chicken tacos. All right, so this, I should, what I should, and actually, I should have put a timer on, so it's okay. Well, is it All right, so yeah, so guys, you guys will, and we'll, you guys will be able to see more videos. Now, the one recipe I would love to show you guys how to make is yellow rice, and I've showed you guys my yellow rice before, but I want to show you guys how to make chicken wings. Chicken wings are pretty easy to make, actually. That's not really a hard thing to do. Um, but if you guys want to know how to make my chicken wings, you guys know where to go. I will be, I'm going to do that video in the future, okay, so you guys have nothing to worry about. You guys will be able to see that particular um, video. It's boiling a little bit, Heather. So, you guys will know. Okay. So that so um that's basically the videos that I will be making in the future. But you guys know that I never leave you guys hanging. You guys. You guys know I love you, and you guys know that I will be doing a lot more videos um, for the next two weeks. So, and don't worry, um, I'm not, I'm going to be doing videos on the weekends too, but you guys know this, that I only do videos once I can, every once in a while, not all the time, but every once in a while, I try to do a, a YouTube video here and there, I try to show you guys what kind of recipes you guys want to make, you know. Any, now, any recipe that you guys want to know how to make, you guys know that I have you covered. Some of these recipes I do make. Now, with the, you guys remember the dirty rice video we did? You guys remember when we did that video Saturday night? That video was good. Um, go to my channel and you guys will see the dirty rice video. But this video is really good. So our water right now... It's not, it's boiling a little, we want the whole thing to boil. So once this whole pot boils, then I'm going to set a timer for 9, it's going to cook for 9 to 11 minutes. Um, yeah, so it's going to cook for 9 to 11 minutes. And like I said, you want to make sure you have, you stir your pasta and everything up pretty oftenly, pretty, pretty.
free occasionally. You want to make sure you start occasionally. Now, what you don't want, which I probably should have added in the beginning, was you want to make sure you add a generous sprinkling of salt to your water. Now, there's a reason we do that. Um, we do that to make sure that, you know, the water is salted. But another rule is that I've never done before. You want to add a little bit of oil to your water as well. Now, now here's what the oil does. The oil does not give it a flavor. What the oil is, what the oil does is it makes it makes sure that your pasta doesn't stick to the bottom to your pot. Because sometimes when I make pasta, it sometimes will stick. But um, usually I do a pretty good job. So. If you guys were also asking me if I can show you how to make buffalo chicken sandwiches, we'll get to that video. Trust me. We're, I'm going to have another video like that. I just don't, I'm just not sure when. I'm just not going to, I just don't know when I'm going to, when I'm, when I'm going to want to make that video yet. So, video yet. So, we'll get there. All right. So, our pot is, I don't know if you guys can really see it. You guys probably can't, but it's okay. But you guys will kind of be able to see what I'm trying to show you here. With this pot. This pot is boiling a little, not too much. We're going to let the whole pot boil. Once the whole pot boils, then, we'll come, then I'll um, set a timer for you guys. But right now, we're just letting this thing kind of hang out. And, and you got to mix up. You got to get those, pot, those noodles and get wet. And it's boiling, so you may see. I would set the timer. And you finish that one back? Okay, guys, so we're going to give it a stir. Like I said, you want to make sure that your noodles are nice and submerged in liquid. You also want to make sure that your noodles are not sticking to the bottom. You just give it a stir. Now, I know it doesn't... Okay, guys, so I'm gonna. Okay guys, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do is instead of sitting here and me talking through this video, because I really don't want to do that, we're going to put a lid on it, we're going to turn it down to medium low, we're going to cover it, we're going to let it cook for 10 minutes, so here we go. Oh, you know what? Hang on guys. Okay guys, so here we go. So, I'm going to turn this down to about medium low. I got flash, I got flash. And we'll go to about three, we'll be good. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is, so I don't bore you guys, um, I'm going to, so like I said, we're going to let this cook for 12 minutes. And then after we let it cook for 12 minutes, I'll come, we'll, we'll check it. We'll make sure that the noodles are cooked. Now, here's the, the um, key detail. Oh, I the, the, really, the basic rule. The liquid in this pot right now is boiling. We're going to have, now, once we open it, after the time is up, then you'll see what I'm talking about. All that liquid should probably will probably be absorbed. The noodles. Everything that's in there, all that liquid needs to be absorbed. So then that way, our noodles are not um, too wet. You guys get what I'm saying? So the noodles aren't too wet in that um, in the dish. Now, when the time is up, um, then we'll I'll show you how to assemble it. So we're just gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Now, you guys were also asking me if. I can do a, um, like a live video, you guys know what I'm talking about, like live cooking. I will be, I'm, I'm not saying I might, I'm not saying that it's going to definitely happen. I will hopefully be able to do like a live cooking video, 
Um, I've seen many people on TV do like um, live cooking. Um, you know, that's something that I would like to try to do. But you guys know this. You guys know that my videos are kind of cool. So we're just going to let this just sit and cook. Now, um, the little, now you guys can see, now most lids have like the little vent hole in the, in the, in the lid. What that does, that lets the steam escape because if you just have straight up steam in your, um, pot, then that's going to make your noodles kind of come out mushy and watery. We don't want that. So we want to make sure we have good noodles. We want to make sure they're cooked All right. through. All right. So we got seven minutes. So when this clock is done, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Now, if you guys want to know also, I will show you guys also how to make another recipe. Um, you guys have never, now I've never made a video, but I'll show you guys, I'll tell you guys this. The one video I would like to show you guys how to make pasta salad. Now pasta salad is pretty easy too, it's not that really difficult, not hard. I've showed you guys how to make everything. I've showed you guys how to make pork pork. I showed you guys how to make barbecue chicken. You guys remember my barbecue chicken video we did a while ago? That video was good. Uh, so All the videos that I've out. done over the past few weeks um, have been <coughs> excuse me, have been a success. Now, we I know that you guys are probably asking like what like what other videos will I have? And you guys know. I'll show you guys in the future what other videos I'll be making, but we're going to let this thing just sit, okay? Now, when this is done, when the timer is, when the timer is done, I'll come back. Well, I'm not going to come back, but I'm going to... So, listen, guys. Here's what we're going to do next. When the timer goes off, five minutes, okay? In five minutes, I'm going to take this lid off. We're going to stir it, and we're going to see if those noodles are cooked, okay? Like I said, since the heat's on medium low... Um, it should be, it should be nice and, um, cooked a little. Now, what you don't want, and I'll say, you don't want your noodles to overcook, okay? That would be a bad thing. So, as you can see, now I know you guys can't see, but when I open this in about five minutes, then you guys will be able to see. We've already been recording for 17 minutes, so we're good. 17 minute video is not going to hurt anybody, right? This video is going to be good. Doug, Zane, William, Dimaggio, DeAndre, Patrick, uh, three, Sebastian, and my good friend Jeremiah Rosenberg, they all requested that I make this video, okay? All my teachers out there um, have requested that I make the video. So for you guys out there who I love and I really miss, and I cannot wait to see you guys fourth quarter when I go back to school fourth quarter, you guys will know how to make this recipe it is so good like i don't even know how to describe it it smells good um if you guys now you guys also were telling me how you guys wanted to sh how you guys wanted me to show you how to make my um my uh chicken stroganoff now um i will tell you guys that you guys remember the chicken stroganoff the chicken stroganoff i've showed you guys how to make a video of so, if you guys want to check, like, way back when, when I made that chicken stroganoff video, you guys will know how to make that video, too. The chicken stroganoff I did in the, in the slow cooker. So, you guys will know how to make that video. Um, another recipe that I wanted to um, show you guys, which is really good. I have not done a video. I would like to show you guys how to make some sort of, like, crock pot barbecue baby back ribs. Um, where are you at? Ribs in the slow cooker, I think, are pretty delicious. Um, another thing that I want to show you guys how to make is cheddar worst. Now, you guys are probably thinking, you guys are asking me, well, what the heck is cheddar worst? I'll explain, okay? So, cheddar worst is basically like a hot dog with cheese in it. That's basically all it is. So, you could technically, basically call it like a cheese dog, right? Okay, call it, we'll call it like a cheese dog instead of a regular, um, chili dog, or instead of a regular hot dog, okay? Three minutes. Now, when this timer goes up, when this timer goes off, I'll come in here and we'll stir it up, and it smells so good. Now, I know it looks crazy in there right now, just because of all the ingredients that we put in there, 
You guys know normally when I cook this, when I cook pasta, I usually just cook the pasta first, then add whatever else I'm going to add to the pot once it's drained. But this time we didn't do that, okay? Now, you want your heat level to stay at a medium low. Now, what do I mean by medium low? So I'll explain that. Okay. So now a medium heat is between like, like a five. A low, a low heat is just turning it down to low. And a medium low heat is like between three and four. That's medium low, okay? Now medium high, I'll explain that. Medium high is basically between high and the number eight. That's medium high, okay? Just to let you know that. Okay, so our pot is looking good. It's going to smell good, and I promise you guys, when we look this up, it's going to smell good. Now, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to top it with, because you guys were asking me, right? This is what we top it with. You see this? You guys know what this is, right? So yes, the one. We're going to top it with this. Once, once it's done cooking, we're going to top it with this. This is going to be good. Okay? Like I said, it is a vegetarian meal. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, yes. well, you don't have meat. Yeah. And um, we, now, we're going to basically just, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. call this meatless Monday. Because this is what it is. Mondays, normally, we have a meat or we don't. It's called, it's, I'm basically just going to call this meatless Mondays because I love it. You guys already know. Now, every Tuesday, I always make tacos for dinner. Sometimes I record I the taco really video and sometimes I don't. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in, what kind of, what, how I feel that particular day. It just depends, you know. And like I said, I'm not, now I'm not always going to record videos like, I'm not always going to record videos every day. I'm just going to do it like every, it's just an every once in a while thing. You guys get what I'm saying? Now, um, this video is really special.